The person I'm going to talk about next is a person who's very near to me, a person who's a second generation revolutionary. So please help me in welcoming Brother Tupac Shakur. Yeah. First, I'm going to say peace to my mother. She's not here, but I got to give a peace out to her because I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for my mother. And I look in the front of this thing and it says start from within to rebuild our original greatness, right? Okay, well that's what my mother did. You know what I'm saying? And I'm listening about freedom fighters and strugglers. Well, you gotta understand that when, when it was in to have a gun and to be in the street, my mother gave that up to be in a house and wash the dishes, you know what I'm saying? And feed us and put the thoughts in our brains, you know what I'm saying? Because we didn't get any of that history from all of those soldiers that we lost. We got none of that. They all went to jail, if you can remember. They all went to penitentiaries. We didn't see none of that knowledge. If it was not for my mother who stayed home and didn't go out and do all that, then I wouldn't have had shit, excuse my language. But I wouldn't have been nowhere. So what I want to do, hopefully, is I want to be, I'm, I, I, not I want to be, I am, Tupac Shakur. I have to be a reminder that we can't, it's not, we can't chill out. No, we, it ain't time to cool out and banquets and all that. It's still on. It's on just like it was on when you was young. And you want to say fuck that just like you said fuck that back then. So how come now that I'm 20 years old ready to start some shit up, everybody telling me to calm down. You know, don't curse, go to school, go to college. Well, fuck that. You know, we had colleges for a, a while now. You know what I'm saying? And it's still Brenda's out there. And niggas is still trapped. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it gets me hurt. <laughs> because, because I understand that it's not going to stop. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to stop until we stop it. And it's not just white men that's doing this to Brenda. And it's not just white men that's keeping us trapped. It's black. You know what I'm saying? We have to find a, the new African in everybody. And all of us. Because if we keep running around looking for black and who got the most colors on and who got the baddest dashiki on, we still gonna get, excuse my language, fucked. Right. Because that, it irks me that, that my mother right now is going through, um, drink, you know, she has to get clean. This is somebody who I watched travel the whole country, you know what I'm saying? During a time when women were scared to speak up mm -hmm. for the Black Panther. She spoke at Harvard, Yale, everywhere. And now I see my mother as, as what really going on. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see no big parades around my mother now. And she done got a dozen fucking awards. And I don't see nobody there. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? So about all this, I take that lightly. I take all this lightly. What I want you to take seriously is what we have to do for the youth. Because we're coming up in a totally different world. This is not the same world that you had. This is not the 60s. This is not that. We, you grew up, we grew up. B.C., before crack. That should say it all. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We did not grow up without parents. You had parents that told you this and that, and this is what went on back in the day. Now you don't have that. Right. You have young kids, 14, coming home, their mama is smoking out or doing it to their best friend to get the product. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So that means that it's not just about you taking care of your child. It's about you taking care of these children. Because that's, right. that's what's out here. It's a gang of children. You understand what I'm saying? And it hurts. It hurts. And I got to... I gotta, um, it bothers me, not hurts, it bothers me that I have to sidestep my youth to, to stand up and do some shit that somebody else is supposed to be doing. You understand what I'm saying? There's too many men out here for me to be doing it. Because it ain't my turn yet. I'm supposed to be following behind him getting the knowledge. I don't even got a chance to get the fucking knowledge. I can't go to college. There's too much problems out here. I don't got the money. Nobody do. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is it's not as easy as we mapping it out to be. And we gotta stay real. We gotta stay real. Before we can be New African, we gotta be black first. You understand? We gotta get our brothers from the street like Harriet Tubman did. Why can't we look at that and see exactly what she was doing? Like Malcolm did. The real Malcolm. Before the Eighth Nation of Islam. You gotta remember this was a pimp. You know what I'm saying? The push and all that. We forgot about all of that. And I strive to be enlightened. We forgot about all our brothers in the street. Right. About all our dope dealers, our pushes and our pets. Right. And that's who's teaching the new generation. That's right. Because right. y'all not doing it. I'm sorry. But it's the pimps and the pushes who's teaching us. So if you got a problem with how we was raised, it's because they were the only ones who could do it. They the only ones who did it. While everybody else wanted to go to college and, you know, yeah, everything has changed. They was the ones that was telling you the white man ain't shit. Here you go. Check this out, young blood. You take this product, you switch it, you make money, and that's how you beat the white man. You get money, you get the hell up out of here. Nobody else did that. So I don't want to hear shit about nobody telling me who I can't love and respect until you start doing what they did. You understand what I'm saying? To me, this is Mecca. 
You know what I'm saying? This is the black family. I see it here. But what makes it even that much more sad and what makes me want to cry is because as soon as I leave, leave here, <laughs> so does America. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? We're going back to the real deal. Right out there, you're going to see them same sisters and Brenda. they right out there. And y'all going to get in y'all cars and drive the fuck home. Right. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. I apologize, but check this out. You can't be no more offended by my curses than what's really going on. That's real. That's real, y'all. That's real. Y'all got to be true to that. You got to be true to that. Because we letting the media and the white man cut us off. You letting them tell you that the rappers ain't real and, and you know, you got to either be, you know, the intelligent person or you're a gutter person. We all the same. We all feel it like y'all feel it. I just can't hold a straight face when I see it. Right. This is proof that we can be together. A young black male is the future of us. And a young black kid is the future of us. It's going to be what you put into it. So if you don't put shit into it, don't be mad and blow up.